a girl I was talking to, right? She uh, she uh, just told me she pregnant. Daddy, stop playing with me. I'm for real. Welcome back, YouTube, another one. Who am I originally here with? Jack. Where are you originally from? West Dallas. So what bring you out here to like, you know, Dallas, particularly you? I'm from here, so yeah. I've been out here for the longest. So like, what do you see yourself the next five years, potentially, man? Uh, playing football. Like, you have like a team you want to go to? University? Uh, university? I really want to go to OU. So as like you know like um your position like on football like what do you what do like, like what do you play? Running back. So um a year from now like where do you see yourself? A year now being great. And like get more in depth like do you think you would be like the number one player at Pinkston? Of course. Yeah, of course. I work hard all summer with the work in. I should be good. How do you feel about biracial dating? Like, which day out, like, out of your race? Like, would you date like a Mexican girl, white girl? I did with so, yeah. like, like, how did that work out? It was cool. It was cool. You still with her? Mm -mm. What happened? You cheated? Nah, I just moved schools. Oh, uh, so it was like that, like, one time deal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You hit? They don't do that. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Um, so we get like more in depth. If you could change anything, like what would it be about yourself? Change anything? Sure. I'll be rich. I want to be rich. Change being rich, yeah. So if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? Million dollars? I'm going to invest. So would you ever give like some to your mom or your dad? Of course, yeah. For sure. It's on my mom, my dad, and my siblings. What level do you think you're on right now, like in football wise? Cause you said you want to go to like to the league. Football right now, I'm like, a, like at an eight. I need to get to a nine, ten. Right now, so I'm at an eight. I gotta, gotta put some work in. So, um, so as we progress on here, man. So, have you ever been cheated on? Nah. Are you I messing with anybody right now? You got a girlfriend? Mm -hmm. So I want you to do this right now. Pull your phone out and tell her you got a girl pregnant. <laughs> Say like girl pregnant? Yes. How do you think she will react? <laughs> call her. She gonna say she gonna say it's a joke. I'm gonna call her. You ever done this before? Mm. I feel like she gonna be kind of mad at you, man. Mm -mm. Put on speaker. Hey. Hey, I got a girl pregnant. Okay. <laughs> what you think about it? I don't care. <laughs> so I just, well, all right. All right. Bye. Is your dad in your life? Yeah. Mm, like, how is that relationship? Like, you know, like having like two parents in your household. Do you think it's like more like challenging or like? He don't live with me, but nah, it's not trying to do it. Cool. I like I visit my dad, I visit my mom. I mean, I'll be with my mom. I live with my mom, so I'm, I'm usually with my mom, but I visit my dad, yeah. So as we get more in depth, man, so um, how do you feel like all like about the border crisis right now? Do you feel like we should let immigrants in? Some of them, not all of them. Some of them be terrorists. Some of them be cool. So I feel like we should let some of them in, not all of them. So, you're saying that we should let people win, yeah. even if there's you know got a bad criminal history, but they're trying to change over here. How do you feel about that? They're trying to change. They're trying to change. I don't know about that one. Yeah. So you did something bad with that, you probably come over here and do something worse. So yeah. So um, as we progress in here, man. So. Like, what's your opinion on, like, all the people that has all this money, power, and influence and does nothing for the community, in your perspective? Uh, yeah, that's their life. They like, want to be stingy. They want to be stingy. What would you do? What I do, I'll give back. I'll sure give back. Cause I know where I came from and I know how to, how to do it is, so i give back for sure. <clears throat> so if you had a baby right now, how would you react? Would you feel like you would be... Ready or no? A baby? Yeah. Not right now. Cause I got a lot. I got a lot of stuff going for my life. So not right now. 
So would you drop everything for your future baby mama right now? If you got her pregnant? I'm gonna have to. So you would say screw your dreams and focus on the baby? Yeah, I'm gonna have to, cause well, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna be no, like, another father. I ain't gonna, have, I ain't gonna leave the child fatherless, you say like that. Um, so say if you have a kid and your girl, she ended up cheating on you with somebody else, but you already had the kid, would you leave her? Or would you like try to work it out? I'm going to leave her, but I'm going to still co-parent. So you feel like you could co-parent? Mm -hmm. yeah. So why is it so difficult for people now to like co-parent? Childish. So you, so you still think people like stuck in their ways? They it, still got feelings for each other. They don't want to say it. So they play childish. Um. So is it any tea you can spill right now about anybody? Nah. Drama free. Yeah. Most def most definitely drama free. You're supposed to, man. You know, he would be finna be that future NFL player. Yeah. Like what team do you want to go to if you were to get drafted? If you were to get drafted. I'm gonna have the Cowboys out, man. The Cowboys? I'm doing bad right now. I gotta help them out, man. For sure. So any other team but the Cowboys, what would it be? Another team. Baltimore. Baltimore? Yeah. All the Rays. I feel you. I feel you be over there with Jackson, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, as a um, young African-American in this country, like, what's your status on that? Do you, do you think that you still have, like, the opportunity as other people have? Because we're around books and everything, so do you think we still have that same opportunity? Yeah. I feel like we got a fair opportunity. So why do people feel like they don't? They really looking at like other places. You gotta think about like where you at at the point of time. Some people have rough, some people have good. Sometimes we feel like bullshitting, but sometimes we be chilling most of the time. So like what's your opinion on on real niggas? Describe a real nigga. No me doing no bullshit. So a person that stay out of the way? Yeah. And handle responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My nigga. <laughs> I think it's so like easy for like other like minority groups or like other like like um skin colors to, to like say the word nigga. Like why is it so commonly used? What they call they homeboys. Because you know like you know like we we're in, we're in Texas right now, you know like you got you got, you got Mexican friends? Yeah. And like you know like they say the word nigga. Like, so why, why is it so, like, casual for them to say it, you know? But tripping. their dad won't say it. I don't even, I don't even be tripping on it. It is what it is. I can't, I can't fight no nigga with no word. It is what it is. So, like, what like what could they find you with on here? Like, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook? Zero N one Y dot Jack. Like, what, any advice would you give them, the people that's watching right now, that you couldn't give yourself when you were younger? I do this, but... Listen to y'all mamas and the people that's around you that's giving y'all good advice. For sure. You guys stay tuned in, like, follow, share, comment, do all the above, stay engaged. And until next time, you guys, make sure you guys stay tuned in. Until next time, this is season two, episode eight. And peace out, guys. Welcome back, you to another one. Who am I originally here with? Jay. This is season two, episode eight. So, like, first question, man, like, <clears throat> as we get more in depth, like, where are you originally from? Dallas. Like, what brings you out here? Yeah, man, I've been there all my life. So, like, if it was any other place in the world, where would you go? Shit, I'd probably say, like, Florida or some shit. Florida by the water? Like, like, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years. Seeing college playing football. You want to go to the league? Yeah, yeah. Like, what team would you like to get drafted to if it was your choice? Shit, I'd probably say that the Cowboys or some shit. The Cowboys? If yeah. it was not the Cowboys, what other team? Probably said like the cheese or some shit. What do you see yourself in a year from now? A year like from now? At this day. You're seeing, right? No, I'm a junior. Junior? So like where do you see yourself? Graduating. Like like doing what? Because like you wanna go to the lead, so like you have to like major like in a major, you know, like at college? Yeah, I'll probably say like accounting or some shit. Accounting? Yeah. That's man, so like <clears throat> do you have like a girlfriend? Yeah. So I want you to do this right now. Call her and tell her you got a girl pregnant. Hell no. 
Hell, 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 no. You got me? I can't do that. One. I can't even do that one. I can't even do that. I can't lie to you. Hell, no. So call your mom and tell her you got a baby on the way. How about that one? Damn. Yeah. All right. You do that one? I got yeah. you. Got you. I got you. I got you. So, like, what do you think she gonna say? Do you think she gonna believe you or no? No, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Mm. Mm. So you don't think she's going to believe you? Nah, hold on. Let's see. Hello? Mama. Huh? I got something to tell you. What? So, a girl I was talking to, right? Uh -huh. She She uh, just told me she pregnant. I'm for real. Who? Huh? Who's talking about? What you mean who I'm talking about? What girl are you talking about? The uh the Mexican one I was talking to. So when did y'all where? What time when it happened? Her house? And what she gonna do? She keeping it? She said she was. Yeah, oh my god. Why you don't use protection, bro? What the fuck is wrong with you? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't like the way it feels. <laughs> Jay, I don't give a fuck. What? Now you gotta raise a fucking baby, bro. What do you mean? Bro, I don't give a fuck. Why you gotta get off my phone? Because you just really pissed me off. <laughs> 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 I was not expecting it. <laughs> oh man, I was not expecting that YouTube. My bad about that, you know. Um, so as we get more in depth, so like was you expecting her to react like that or no? Nah, not really. So do you think she wants the baby like in your life? Oh, your maybe, mom. Maybe like when I'm like after I graduate, maybe uh So how do you feel about the border crisis right now? Like, do you think the immigrants should be allowed to come here or no? Uh, America yeah, bring it, yeah. So you feel like they should come over here, even though like half of them is like thieves, killers, rapists, or murderers. Yeah, like they already here already, so I mean. So like, what would you do different if you was had all this money, power, and glory? Shit. Buy my mom my house or some shit. So how do you feel about the influencers and like the politicians and people all this money doing nothing for the community? In your perspective, shit, they're doing good. So you feel like they should not influence. Other people should not like act gangster, act thug. Nah, they should like influence people to do better in life and shit. So, what's your opinion on a real nigga? I don't like where this is going. Describe it. What you mean? Like definition of a real nigga, real person. Shit, person who handle their business. Why do you feel like people try to portray something that they're not, like a thug or gangster, or like even try to like fake like Teddy make it with all this fake jewelry? You no know, fake watches. They're showing that for the people. It should be they sub. So would you fake it till you make it? Hell nah. I'm keeping real every time. So you'd rather have $2,000 in your pocket mm -hmm. or $2,000 shoes on? Mm -hmm. Which one? $2,000 in my pocket. <clears throat> so, like, why do you think it's such a problem for people to, like, use the hard R word, like, nigga, like, different, like, minority groups, like, Mexican? Like, why do you think that's so, like, a norm now? Like, you got Mexican friends? Mm -hmm. So, like, why do you think it's okay for them to say the word nigga? Shit, they got black friends that let them say it, so. So, like, if it was any advice on here, like, what could you tell the people that you wish you was told when you were younger? I don't even know, to be honest with So, what would you tell your future kids if you could tell them right now? Stay in school, get good grades. But, like, what like what could they find you at? Like, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook? Uh, Instagram, uh, at one little J. Two times, two A's, two Y's. Yeah. Make sure you guys follow, like, share, comment, do all the above. Stay tuned in. And this is season two, episode eight. Right, stay tuned in and peace out.